Hello my Wolfpack and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Competitive Guide video. So today we are covering Eggy Slash. Eggy Slash is a very interesting Pokemon. I have used it a couple of times. I trained one up before it was actually placed into Ubers. I think it was originally an OU and then a few weeks later it got placed into Ubers because honestly it's just got huge defense and when it changes its stance it basically swaps its attack and defense. Um, so yeah, so honestly, like, it is a crazy mon, because you can set up Swords Dancers, and then you can, uh, then what can you do? Then you can come out of your shield form, which you've been taking hits on, and then just go to town with, like, Shadow Sneak or something. So honestly, it is such a crazy mon. But yeah, let's get started with the two sets. The first set we have is a Automize set, because I really like Automize, and Base 60 is relatively decent. I mean, you've got Max Speed on here. Anyways, just to ensure that you are going to be outspeeding more or less everything. Iron Plate is the the option of item. Uh, basically, a steel type attacks have 1.2 times power, so Iron Head is a little bit more powerful. Uh, I just thought that works better maybe than Life Orb here. You can obviously put Life Orb on there if you want, but that is your choice. Uh, you can have the Spooky Plate as well, but that's, that's fine. Ostomize, yep, yeah, so double your speed. And make yourself lighter, it doesn't really matter too much unless you're getting heavy slammed, but I don't think many things will be many things will be heavy slamming you in Ubers. Iron Head is strong, stab, steel type move, and has the chance to flinch. If you've got an Ostomize up, that's gonna be pretty good. Shadow Claw, strong stab, ghost type attack, which can hit a variety of different things. And head smash, because I thought, you know what? Head smash works pretty nicely. Uh it's a really strong, powerful rock type move. Um, but you do take a lot of recoil to it, so obviously do be a little bit cautious of using that one. Uh, but that hits things like fire types that you just don't really want to deal with. EVs, we've got max attack and max speed with a tim top jolly nature, sorry, a jolly nature, so more speed and less special attack and four EVs in defense. Uh, cause you can just chuck those four EVs wherever you want, really. Uh, but yeah, the idea here is set up an optimize and then kind of go into your attack form or blade form, I think it's called, and then just you know, fire off some attacks. And our second set is a leftovers healing up set because this is your only really reliable recovery as such, uh, but you're not going to be taking too much damage in with your defenses just being so high. Uh, we have Stance Change against the ability is the only ability it has, and we have Swords Dance, King Shield, Shadow Sneak, and Sacred Sword. Swords Dance doubles your attack, which is 218 in your shield, shield form. I'm not sure what it would be in your blade form. I can't think off the top of my head. Um, and yeah, uh, King Shield. King Shield is a unique ability, unique unique move. Sorry, for Eggy Slash, which uh, protects you from attack. And uh, if you get if they contact you or hit you with like a move like Fire Punch or something, they lower their attack by two stages, which is pretty huge. And you also get transformed back into your Shield form, which again means you can absorb hits. Shadow Sneak there, Ghost Priority move, which works really nicely. Um, if you can set up like two or three Swords Dancers, then you are going to be pretty good on the Shadow Sneak front. You're going to be one hit KOing most things. Sacred Sword is just a coverage move. I thought it's a really nice move to have there. Um, you can obviously have Iron Head or whatnot if you want, but I thought Sacred Sword works quite nicely. It hits Rock types, it hits Steel types, it hits just a variety of different things. It normal types super effectively. And yeah, that's the thought there. Uh, max HP and max attack with an adamant nature, some more attack, less special attack, and four EVs and special defense. Yeah, this thing is just bulky, taking some hits with the Swords Dancers, and then you're just going to Shadow Sneak. That is my thought here. Uh, you obviously can King Shield when you need to, but yeah, that's 100% your choice. That is it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know if you're down in the comments section below. Anyways, I'm out of here, so have a good one, and I'll see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.